Hello my sparkly little unicorns and welcome back to my channel. It has been a hot minute since I have done well, anything. Um, you may be wondering what the title is about. If you follow me on social media, particularly Instagram, you will already know what this is actually about. It's been August since I last spoke to you, I think. And a lot has happened since then. Um, I'm still in the same job. I'm still doing all of that. Mark's still about blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Sorry, Mark, that's the tiny little segment you get. Back in July of 2019, uh, we lost our gorgeous little tiger lily. So about four months passed and uh, my friend um, ended up having a cat outside her house. Now she already has three cats and this cat was just like desperate to get in. He was really friendly, he was lovely. He was looking a wee bit dishevelled, like he wasn't, he wasn't well at all. So she did feed him after a couple of days thinking, oh we'll go back, he had no collar, he had like a little torn ear. Uh, and he just didn't look great, bless him. Um, but she fed him for a little bit. Uh, she then got um, a vet out after about a week because he was still there, he was relentless because obviously she was providing him food and it looked like he wasn't getting food elsewhere. She fed him for about a week and then another week passed and then she decided to let him in because it's November, it started to get colder, it really cold. So she brought him in and sort of left him in the kitchen. She had a vet round, and there was no chip. The vet that came round who tried to identify the chip said, I think he's about four years old, he's um, he's not been neutered, I don't think he's ever been to the vets, I don't think he's ever had a jab, I don't think he's, he's in great shape at all. I think we'd be looking at trying to find him a new home. So Mark and I sort of were never intending really to get another cat, especially not at this point, but we went round and we met him and we fell in love with this giant fluffy fluff ball. Um, bear with me and I will go and get him. This one. Good boy. Come here then. Come say hello to your new fam. <gasps> hello. Oh, he is the biggest cat. He's so fluffy and he's so friendly. He is a gentle giant, aren't you, mate? Mud. <laughs> he's so lovely. You can see his little torn ear. And if you can see, um, we don't know what that is possibly from a tag, he may have been part of dog baiting, but he's not that scared of dogs, are you, mate? You, get, oh, you really like Charlie, don't you? He is a big baby. I don't know if you can see how big he is. It's looking like um, one of my friend's neighbours up and left, and just left him, <laughs> which is just awful. Are you are, Phil? Cats. <coughs> we took him in on the basis that we were just going to foster him, on the basis that his owners would come back and we would uh, just look after him until then. This is before we were pretty convinced that they had left him like completely and there was no one else that he belonged to. We tried everything to try and find them, um, but nobody came forward. We named him Sausage whilst he was still like fostering with us um, and the name just stuck. He's just such a lovely little sausage. <laughs> and we decided by the, the, the end of January, so it was like middle of November that we, we took him in, uh, by the end of January if there's no one or nothing we would keep him and we would adopt him. He wasn't feral, like he knew how to use a litter tray, he knew what he was doing, he loved humans, he's so friendly, he's great with kids, He's obviously been in a domesticated situation at some point. I think... I'll be back. Say hi. He's got a little thing in his eye. The vet said that there's nothing they can really do about it. It's not life threatening or anything like that. It's just, just a little speck in your eye. It's just a little scar, possibly from a fight. We don't know. Um, we're not 100% sure of his story or anything like that. Um, one, when we decided at the end of January to take him to the vet, he um, got another year of his life back. She said he was about four, the woman who came to my friend's house, but actually the vets thought he was about three, our vets. So you got a whole year back, mate. Lucky kitten. He's the biggest, softest cuddle bear. He just, oh, good to he just wants to be like loved and held. Can you say hi? Oh, cuddle bear. You had the whole hog, didn't you? You were chipped to us, you were snipped, you were jabbed, and we decided to give him the leukemia, is it the leukemia cat AIDS test? Basically, because he was a stray, Tyler Lily never had it because we had her when she was little. Um, if you get them from a kitten, they've not had a chance to pick it up. But because he was a stray, because he was roaming about outside, we decided to get that blood test done just to make sure that he wasn't a carrier. We got the results back, and you're not, are you? 
you're fine, yes you are. So he went outside the other day for the first time, which he loved, didn't you mate? This is our new addition. He's absolutely massive. Hello, you all right? Yeah, you all good? We had a bit of an issue with spraying. Obviously he was three, four, I'm giving him three, so you're a bit younger, aren't you now, mate? Um, unneutered male. Um, it was... <sighs> you gonna tell him what you did? You're gonna tell him what you did, okay? So obviously spraying and bits and bobs, it's annoying, but it's part of just... I said it's annoying, it is annoying. But it's just part of it whilst we were waiting to get his operation done. But the, he ended up having to live in our little downstairs bathroom because somebody beat on the microwave whilst I wasn't looking and shorted out the entire house. Oh, you brute, you little brute. See, he's nibbling on me, but he's so gentle. Aren't you? He's just playing, he doesn't hurt, he's, he's just... I'm not, I'm not a chew toy. If you want to comment down below, let me know of any videos that you would like to see. Just comment down below. I'm good at this. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you're all doing super and are really, really enjoying and getting into the swing of your 2020. And I hope it's fantastic. Love you guys lots and I will see you soon. Bye.